I'm Anil Kumar and here is question number 8 from the test on functions. The question here is, a parking garage charges $1.10 for up to 2 hours and $1.04 for each subsequent hour. Write a function to describe this situation. That's the question for you. The part B of this question is, use your function to calculate parking charges for 4 hours 15 minutes. That's part B. So what I'll do here is, we'll kind of sketch and then solve this question. You can anytime pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions, right? So uh, let us say that uh, since it is saying dollar four for each subsequent hours, we'll make these lines four units away. One, two, three, third, fourth means 12, right? 16, 18, kind of like that. Do you see that? Okay. And the hours, let's say these are the hours for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, correct. Now it says the parking garage charges dollar ten for up to two hours. So so this is this is each unit is four, four, this is eight. So that becomes twelve. So ten is kind of like this. So up to two hours, that is ten. Is it okay? Each unit is four. So up to two hours, they will charge you ten dollars and dollar four for each subsequent hour, right? So four, that means 10 plus four. Do you see that? 14, right? So this is 12, let me write down here. So this is uh, 12, this is, I mean, I should have written here, 16, you understand, right? So when I say four for each subsequent hour, the next hour, it will be 10 plus 4, which is 14, right? So, which will be kind of here, 2 to 3, right? And then 18, like this. Do you see that? So, that is how the function is going to be. Now, that really means that if I make a table here, just to help you out to understand this, and if I write hours and dollars here, then up to two hours it is 10 then from two to three hours that means not including two two hours will charge this so when you make it two hours this is filled in here we make this right and here we have a hole correct but this part is filled in so a person would like to minimum right so so up to two hours to include it from two to three four more right so it becomes 10 plus 4 as 14 3 to 4 it will be 18 4 to 5 it is 22 and so on do you see that so that is a step function which you have so each subsequent hour right will be charged like this so that becomes the graph to explain the concept now let's get back to part b first it says use your function to calculate parking charges for four hours 15 minutes so if the time is four hours and slightly more then that is the charge do you see that so more than four hours 22 dollars so the cost is dollar 22 so slightly even it is a minute more than four hours you pay for first two hours which is ten dollars third hour which is four fourth hour which is again four and beginning of the fifth whether it is completed or not you pay for it so it's step function you get twenty two dollars that is how you need to do your calculation do you understand now there could have been a variation to this uh, let me write down that as question number 8C, where the parking charges are 
dollar ten for first two hours and then additional dollar four per hour right that could be the case also right in that case I'll make that case here in that case it is kind of a constant function for the first two hours right where this is two hours time in hours okay and cost in dollars now for first two hours ten dollars and after that four dollars per hour do you understand so that becomes a piecewise function let me describe this first so the cost will be equal to 10 for time which is greater than 0 but less than equal to 2 however if the time is greater than 2 then it is 10 plus time minus 2 whatever time is times 4 which is 4 hours this is for time which is greater than 2 so if I substitute 2 here this part is 0 right so for the next hour it will go up by 4 so it will be kind of function like this do you see that now that will be a function which will be continuous function and this will be if the condition is this that is dollar 10 for first 2 hours and additional dollar 4 per hour it becomes continuous however if I have each subsequent hour then the function is like this so if it is three four point something it will be considered as five times so you have to round higher right so you have to round higher so in this case the cost function in dollars will be uh, will be kind of a piecewise function where you are paying ten dollars for time t which is greater than zero less than equals to two however you are paying 10 plus 4 times now so what we do here is we define another function which is called the ceiling function ceiling function so time minus 2 ceiling function right it rounds to higher number do you understand when t is greater than 2 that's the ceiling function so 4 point so let me just show you the calculation that becomes your function well, so basically it really means 4 point 15 minutes is 0 0.25 quarter of an hour right 4.25 will be equals to 5 do you understand will be equals to 5 so I mean in this case because uh, I mean here when we substitute 4.25 it is 4.25 minus 2 so let's do this and uh, 4.25 minus 2 is 3.25 so 3.25 ceiling function will be equals to 4 do you understand so right so so that is how we have to do our calculation now let us uh, use the formula and find the solution so let me do this calculation which we have found between four to five hours we get 22 as our answer let's do this calculation on the right side so we'll if the time is four hours so we say time equals to four point to 5 15 minutes means 4.25 hours correct so we are using this formula correct so we have cost as equals to 10 plus 4 times that ceiling function 4.25 take away 2 is it okay which is 10 plus 4 times 2.25 2.5 right 4.25 take away 2 2.25 which is 10 times 4 times 
we have to round to highest we get 3 is it okay so 10 plus 12 which is 22 so that is how using the equation we get our result do you see that so in this case the charges will be 22 dollars as we calculated earlier like this do you see that is using this particular equation so let's go through this question once again kind of tricky a parking garage charges dollar 10 for up to two hours and dollar four for each subsequent hour write a function to describe the situation so it'll be a piecewise function shown here we have used a ceiling function which rounds higher integer right so basically we have used a function which is if i say endpoint anything right anything then it rounds to n plus one do you see that if you have anything here endpoint let's say anything x it rounds higher is it okay however n point zero is n is it okay so so that is what you have to consider so uh, you saw that 2.25 rounds to 3 do you see this that is kind of an important to understand so that's the ceiling function I'll give you a link for ceiling function so that you understand and here with the help of this diagram you can understand how the parking charges are being subjected to I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps thank you for watching you can always share and subscribe my videos Thank you.